हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोनिका फ्रॉम आइल्स नाइन चैनल ओके सो हेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू दिस रीडिंग बियॉन्ड द ब्लू हॉरिजन और होराइजन यू कैन से ओके सो हेयर दिस रीडिंग आई हैव जस्ट सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम टेस्ट थ्री एंड पैसेज नंबर इज थ्री सो वट इज दैट सो इट इज ऑलवेज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रीड the subtitle of that thing means subtitle here means this is giving information about uh, th this main title so ancient voyagers who settled the far flung islands of the pacific ocean okay so uh, let's not waste time how to do on uh, this reading so this reading has been divided into this kind of paragraphs just you can just look at see these without uh, like they have divided the paragraph into uh, this small small paragraphs but without any naming like uh, unlike uh, other passages have a b c d so this is different kind of paragraph so second page is this so here reading of the second page is this this type of reading so we have to read like this only this 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 and then this 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 we have to read like that okay so after having a look at this uh, reading passage so let's go to see the um, types of questions so questions we have 27 to 40 so first type of question where we have complete the summary using the list of words from uh, phrases a to j so this is kind of fill in the blanks and we have options over given over okay so this was the first type of question hmm and second type of question we have here mcqs questions 32 to 35 so four questions are there see 32 33 34 35 and the last type of question we have because this is reading passage 3 it is compulsory you will get three types of question and sometimes four types of question so the, uh, at the end we have yes no not given questions so i would suggest always start whatever the style they have given writer has given to do like in the initially for this passage they have given complete the summary so i would go according to the writer's choice so that is more convenient because uh, if you start doing uh, this mcq first or yes no not given so you have to look for the uh, location and uh, uh, when you will be doing and when you will be doing according to writer's choice then you will get answers according to uh, like according to this uh, passage wise okay so first type of question we have complete the summary as you know we have already read out the instructions so always read the instructions carefully so here if that if at if it uh, burial site they are talking about so first keyword is yes figurative keywords are very uh, easy to find out from the passage of course this will definitely get we will get in first paragraph so next is this person's name seafaring people okay pacific island of estate what they are saying 300 uh, oh, uh, okay the symmetry which is a significant okay so always look for the words before and after the blanks also so they will also um, help in getting the correct answer so but for finding the location we will go for this this word as well as 3000 years so let's go to the paragraph so here in the first paragraph what we are getting here yeah, you can just take a look first paragraph an important okay 3000 i have to find yes 3000 is here only yes, just look at this so we have 3000 figurative word was there so the, yes this was there pacific was there self seafaring people was the word there okay mm, so what is left lapita is was also there so now we have found each and every uh, word like now let's look at the question again now question was 3000 year old burial ground of a seafaring a seafaring people called lapita has been found on an abandoned yes abandoned means open space open place abandoned on the pacific island of estate okay significant also we found 
important instead of speaking uh, significant they have written over there important so abandoned on the pacific the cemetery which is significant was uncovered accidentally by an agricultural worker okay so what they are saying an important yes instead of significant they have used the word here important discovery on island of uh, vedanto has revealed traces of an ancient seafaring people the distance distant ancestor of today's polynesian the site came to light only by chance yes this was all given an agriculture worker digging in the grounds of okay grounds of derelict um, derelict plantation scared upon op, open a scrapped upon a grave the first dozens of burials okay so we have to look for the word abandoned abandoned i told you that abandoned here means like uh, it's usually means open space and like here digging in the grounds of derelict plantation so what we can in the grounds of plantation so we can just write here plantation plantations the cemetery which is a significant significant was uncovered sorry so sorry yeah, i have to select it from here and i don't have to just write the word here i have to just see that was the magic of instruction so i have done it wrong here so i have to put what a to j so here i have to just select it from here and i will be just writing it here b not the word here so next word is cemetery which is a significant dash was uncovered accidentally by okay what significant so uh, yes where is the reading passage just a moment yes significant archaeological discovery yes the word is already given over here yes so we will be writing here f in in 28 f okay so next is lapita next uh, next fill in the blank says the lapita explored and colonized many pacific islands over several centuries they took many things with them on their voyages okay they took many things so we have to look many things including dash and two so these kinds of fill in the blanks are very easy to look at mm, here what we can prove plantation uh, harbor bones data in source animals maps so already they have given tools so what they can take with voyages map or animals both in um, in these two options we can find one option uh, but we have to just go through uh, the passage not on our uh, just guessing things there were daring blue water so till here we have just read out the first paragraph there were daring blue water adventures who used uh basic you know is to uh, rove across the ocean but they were not just explorers okay they were also pioneers who carried with them everything carried with them everything they would need to build new lives their livestock tools yes they are talking about tools so of course we can just uh, write here livestock but of course we have to select from the uh, this thing so here they are given they have given animals so we will be writing i i in 29th okay so yes i in 29th so let's move on to the next the burial ground increases the amount of information about lapita available scientist is team of researchers okay yes all main important key point to find uh, to find location from the australian university or excavation site speaks believes what he believes now we will be looking for focusing for this believes what he believes proof plantation harbon bones data um, burial source okay we will just find out what what he believes so let's go to the paragraph with this word okay so second paragraph almost we have done um, third is there third paragraph is there so next is the yeah let's look at the word first matthew spriggs yes matthew spriggs is here it is an important discovery what he is saying of australian this this was this name was also given given 
हेड ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल टीम डिगिंग ऑफ द साइट फॉर इट कंक्लूसिवली आइडेंटिफाइज रिमेन्स द रिमेन्स एज लापता ओके सॉरी सो वट ही फाइंड्स दैट लाप ही आइडेंटिफाइज एज लापिता ओके सो लापिता सो वॉट वी कैन कैन वी रीड इट टू ड्रामेट द रिमेन्स ऑफ ओके आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट वर ऑल्सो थ्रिल टू फिक्स सिक्स कम्प्लीट अदर आइटम्स अरेंज ऑन द रेम पेरिंग डाउन एट द ह्यूमन रिमेन्स इट इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके फ्रॉम दिस इन्वर्टेड कोमा दिस पर्सन दिस मैथ्यू इज सेंग समथिंग ही आइडेंटिफाई द रिमेन्स एज लापिता ही बिलीव डेट दिस ओके सो वट वी कैन फाइंड हेयर सो नेशनल दिस आर हेल्पिंग विद द एक्सिक्यूशन ऑफ द साइट स्प्रिंग्स बिलीव स्प्रिंग्स बिलीव द विच वॉज फाउंड एट द साइट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट कन्फर्म्स डैट ओके इट कन्फर्म्स डैट तो डैट इज द लास्ट लाइन दे आर सेंग कंक्लूसिवली फॉर इट कंक्लूसिवली आइडेंटिफाइज द रिमेन्स एज लापिता ओके सो आई हैव टू रीड इट लिटल अपर साइड ओके सो बिलीव बिच वॉज फाउंड एट द साइट वेर इज साइट थर्टी सिक्स ओके क्लूज रिलेटेड रिसर्च द रिमेन्स ऑफ हैज बीन अनकवर्ड एंड क्लूज थ्री टू फाइंड सिक्स कंप्लीट लाभ विद द पोर्ट्स अदर्स इन आइटम्स ओके अदर आइटम्स विच वॉज Yes, this was other items included a lapita burial own. Okay, so here yes, word is there. Yes, so that is why we are putting here G because Sprig believes. So believes, it comes uh, the main believes thing will come here. But before that, he want to say which was found at the site is very important. That is burial own. okay and it confirms that the dash found inside per uh, inside our lapita so lapita what they found so let's read at the here expand the volume of data the remains of 26 were so archaeologists find so they are saying that remains of the persons and also what the persons remain would be uh, bones only a bones word is also there items included ring peering down the remains yes i am again remains sealed inside okay so what is that so it is clearly given remains of a person or uh, bones we can just write here bones d sorry so first type of question we have done now let's move on to the mcq questions okay sorry so now we have second type of questions mcq so just do it properly i mean to say just focus it on the question first first you read and understand the question what they are demanding and where they are demanding now according to the writer there are difficulties explaining how the difficulties explaining how the lapita accomplished their journeys because how they are just uh, asking the answer they are just finding the answer for how lapita accomplished their journeys because difficulty is explaining so abhi now just we can just look we have gone through first paragraph second paragraph third paragraph now it's turn to read for fourth paragraph why because of course we are just going according to the writer's choice according to uh, how how they have designed the uh, paragraph according to the question this you should keep in mind so now mm, uh, okay where only migration single point points there is a presence okay springs find out actually where they come from who come descendants okay so we have help answer one of the most puzzling questions see one of the most puzzling question in pacific did all the pacific did all the pacific islanders spring uh, spring from one was there only one outward migration asia this represent the most 
means to find out lapita actually a word where okay okay now they are talking about difficulties explaining how the lapita accomplished their journeys because how the lapita okay puzzling questions in okay single point different point single point what lapita accomplished their journey they are talking about journeys actually were come from their who closer okay there is one stubborn question for which archaeology has yet to provide an answer okay so still they have to provide any answer they has yet to okay so here they there are difficulties explaining so still they are having uh, difficulties still they have uh, still they are yet to explain the answer of this question okay so here they are talking about okay to provide any answers uh, how did okay how did the lapita accomplished the ancient equivalent, uh, equivalent of a moon landing and many so yes so no one has found uh, of one of their can or any rigging which could reveal ye uh, which could reveal this which could reveal how the canis were said no did the oral historical and tradition of later polynesians offer an insight for they turn into myths long before they reach as far as back in time lapita so let's read the now we have read two two paragraphs but actual things in this paragraph we have found with the proper words okay so abhi uh, now let's move on to the options the canoes that have been discovered offer relatively few clues clues no in this he they were saying no one has found one of their canoes or any rigging okay so first is no so second option is archaeologists have shown limited interest in this area of research so nothing was explained about this ki that they have shown limited interest and all no so little information so uh, little information relating to this period can be relied upon for accuracy yes we can just consider this but before it read the d option technological advances have altered so nothing was explained about that so this we can opt for c1 for this c1 yes so because see this we couldn't find this we couldn't find this we couldn't discover so what option is left this option is left so 33 according to the sixth paragraph now they have given their self location which what was extraordinary about the lapita so what was extraordinary about the lapita so they sealed okay before reading it it's all your choice if you want to read it options then it's okay if you don't want then read in the paragraph so now now what they are saying so this is my sixth paragraph see One, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, fifth, and the sixth paragraph is here. Here, so we can just just check out our answer from here. All we can say for certain is that Lapita had canes. All we can say for certain, for certain, some certain that Lapita. lapita had canoe canoes that were capable of ocean voyages they had the ability to sail them says joff irwin a professor of the archaeology at the university of auckland those sailing skills he says were developed and passed down over thousands of years by earlier mariners who worked their way through the rp um, archaeologists of western pacific making short crossing the real adventure didn't begin however until lapita descends uh, sailed out of sight of land with um, empty horizon horizons uh, horizons on every side this must have been difficult as landing ho oh, oh, this must have been as difficult for them as landing on the moon is for us today certainly it distinguished them from their ancestors but certainly it distinguished them from their ancestors but what gave them the courage to launch out on such risky voyages so risky voyages they are talking about let's read the question again according to the sixth paragraph what was extraordinary about the lapita okay let's read it they sailed beyond the point where land was visible 
दे सेल्ड बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट वेयर लैंड वॉज विजिबल ओके देयर कल्चर कल्चरल हेरिटेज डिस्करेज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फेयर सो देर वॉज नो टॉकिंग अबाउट दे दे वर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी फेयर एंड ऑल दे वर एबल टू दे वर एबल टू बिल्ड कैनज विद दैट विद दैट विद स्टूड ओशन वॉयजेस बिल्ड कैनज दे वर एबल सो नथिंग बी एंड सी इज देर इज नो ऑप्शन डी देर नेविगेशनल स्किल्स वर पास ऑन फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट सो दैट इज इन द एंड दे हैव गिवन यू कैन जस्ट लुक एट दिस सर्टेनली इट डिस्टिंग्विश दैम फ्रॉम देयर एनसेस्टर्स बट हेयर दे आर सेंग दे डिस्टिंग्विश दैम फ्रॉम देयर एनसेस्टर्स सो मीन्स दे आर नॉट द सेम सो देयर नेविगेशनल स्किल्स वर पास ऑन फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट नो सो हेयर क्लियरली इट इज गिवन दैट डिस्टिंग्विश दैम फ्रॉम देयर एनसेस्टर्स इट मीन्स डी इज ऑल्सो नॉट सो हेयर दे आर टॉकिंग वॉट सम डिफरेंट डिफिकल्ट वॉयजेज इट्स लाइक ए लैंडिंग ऑन मून सो यू कैन से डिवेलप्ड एंड पास डाउन ओके वर्क देयर सो हेयर ऑल ओवर इफ यू लुक एट द पैराग्राफ दे आर जस्ट सी आउट ऑफ साइट ऑफ लैंड आउट ऑफ सेल्ड आउट ऑफ साइट ऑफ लैंड ओके सो हेयर इन ए इन ए वर्ड इज सेंग दे सेल्ड बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट वेयर लैंड वॉज विजिबल आउट ऑफ साइट ऑफ लैंड सो ए इज द ऑप्शन अदरवाइज all three options are not available available but with contradict statements okay so 34th what does this refer okay this refers to the, in the seventh paragraph okay let's go to the seventh paragraph so uh, just a minute so this we have done this is sixth paragraph so now this is seventh paragraph so you can mark it there there to just uh, make uh, convenient yourself okay to just available yourself for reading and all so how i now i am i am reading it seventh paragraph so lapitas thrust uh, thrust into pacific was eastward against the prevailing trade winds irwin notes those nagging so okay question was in the seventh paragraph this refers to the seventh paragraph okay so let's read it carefully actually in mcqs you need to read the carefully the things what they are asking okay against the prevailing trading trade winds even those nagging headwinds he argues may have been the key to their success they could sail out they means uh, lapita and persons could sail out for days into unknown and ss uh, now this is in inverted comma just just take it okay and assess the area secure in the knowledge that if they did not find anything if they did not find anything they could turn about and catch a swift ride back on the trade winds this is what this is means idea this is what have made the whole thing work okay what what they can make they are talking about this they could sail out for unknown areas if they do not get anything then they can then they they could turn about and catch a swift ride back on the trade winds means they have their access to turn back so this is turning back so this is they are talking about uh, this thing they are uh, like uh, let's read the option first the lapita sif suffering talent this no 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 Def, no no the lapita's ability to detect signs of land no this they have not explained here the lapita's extensive knowledge of the region mm -hmm. this no no inverted comma and after that everything we can find the main answer from here to here so here they have explained their qualities okay and and the end they had this is what means they can go back on the trade winds okay d1 is the lapitas believed that they would be able to return home so seafaring uh, seafaring talent seafaring talent trade wind trade winds it will not so seafaring talent they have not explained it here but still they are talking about trade winds mm, key to uh, those nagging head winds he argues could sail out for days into skewer they did not find they could turn trade winds they are just 
okay okay we can go for this option also again of course this is the option the lapitas believe that they would be so yes we can go for this the lapitas believe that they would be able to return yes now let me uh, i will explain you where it is so here they are saying they could uh, sorry they could sail out for days again it is in seventh paragraph i am reading it so in inverted comma they could sail out for days into unknown and assess the area secure in the knowledge secure in the knowledge that if they didn't find anything they could turn about and catch a swift ride back on the train trade wind means at that time they could go back to their homes and then once are there skilled seafarers would have detected abandoned leads to follow to land sea birds and all this uh, afternoon pile up of clouds so these are the things they are explaining now with the help of these things they can uh, come to know which often indicates an island in distance so they are just finding these things they are just looking for these things to indicate the distance from these islands okay so these uh, this seafaring uh, seafarers ability is not serving that purpose this they are talking they are asking us this purpose okay so 35th is according to the 8th paragraph now we will look for the 8th paragraph how was the geography of just a moment how was the geography of the region significant okay geography of the region significant now 8th paragraph now 7th is there this is 8th paragraph for returning explorers successful or not the geography yes geography word is here geography or of their own archipelagos would have provided a safety net without this to go by overshooting uh, sh shooting uh, their home ports getting lost and sailing off would have been all easy okay let's read the option it played an important role in lapitas culture okay it played lapitas culture okay it role in lapitas culture so they are not talking about role and all na i have read out the full paragraph it meant there were relatively few storms at sea no no it provided a navigational aid for the lapita geography of the region geography yes if you know this is uh, natural it is natural if you know the geography of the region means if you know the uh, geography mapping of the region then it it automatically provide you a navigational aid for the lapita means okay they are talking what according to him so it made a large number of islands habit, habitable so here in the last line they are just talking uh, for example uh, stretches more than 500 miles in a north with south trend its course of inter islands forming a backstop for mariners riding the trade winds no 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 nothing has given about that let's cut it and let's go to c option c option now we have left with true false not given now this is the question here now uh, now the important question it arises like from where we will be finding these whether we have to whether we have to search for uh, the whole passage or we have to search after where we have finished this uh, where we have finished uh, the uh, previous question mcqs so my suggestions always look where you have finished the previous type of question so question number 1 is it is now clear now they are saying it is now clear okay that lapita could sail into a prevailing wind okay now it is now clear so they are 100% confident so it means this it must be false means no okay mm mm -hmm. so now till 8 we have done now this is ninth paragraph all these purposes are essential detail says okay what we are going to look sailing yes advance art of sailing wind all these pur purposes one essential detail uh, professor the lapita had mastered the advanced art of sailing against the wind and there is no so see in the in the first line first two lines here they are saying 
love with the head the university every uh, professor of prehistory and this he is saying the lapita had mastered the advanced art of sailing against the wind if you look at uh, till here only you will get your wrong answer and there is no proof after that they are saying no proof that they could do anything such there is no proof it means this is not confirmation so it is now clear it means our answer is no it contradicts here it is saying it is now clear here and the statement here is saying and there is no proof they could do any such thing means sailing against the wind okay so 37th is extreme climate conditions may have played a role in lip lapita's migration extreme climate conditions okay first we will be look for climate condition climate conditions uh, and then lapita migration okay what we can get so we were we were in, on the, that paragraph there has been assumption people have built canoes to rebuild on climatic condition no need to read the all the things credit human okay winds of chance no no this the same climate word is there okay just let's read it from here rather than give all the credit to human skill anderson invokes anderson this researcher the winds of chance el nano nino the same climate disruption that affects the pacific today may help scatter the lapita may help scatter the lapita okay uh, climate so no need to go further let's read if you want he points out that climate data obtained from slow growing corals around the nino around okay expansion by reversing the regular flow of trade weeks for a time ninos might have taken the lapita on long unplanned voyages okay extreme climate condition may have played a role in lapita's migration yes here they see if you read it properly na then definitely you would get answer little bit you have to understand the sentences also okay invokes the wind of you know the same climate disruption that affects the pacific today may have helped scatter the lapita scatter means uh, to go here and there and settle the lapita people okay so here we have found obtained from this we have already read i have read it okay hmm migration means settle down and all so here of course extreme climate condition that may have may have yes they are just talking may have not confirm may may have helped scatter the lapita so answer is yes exactly we have match this kind of statement so 38 the lapita learned to predict the duration of el nino so ai ninos we have read the all paragraph they are not talking about the duration ninos around the time of lapita expansion and all so they are not talking about expansion so i will just put it here not given so it is compulsory if you do not find this kind of uh, things like learn to predict prediction is not there basically and duration is also not there so 39th it remains unclear it remains still it is unclear why the lapita halted their expansion across the pacific so yes it was given it was given yes here it is given expansion see pacific indicate okay he points out that climbing data obtained coral pacific indicate a series of unusually frequent el nino around the time of lapita's expansion by reversing the regular east to west flow of trade wind for weeks at a time these might have taken the lapita on long unplanned voyages yes Mm, it remains unclear so why lapita halted their expansion across the pacific so for this what we can mm, uh, give all credit on the climatic expansion may have helped obtained from a coral around the indicate a series of unusually around the time of by reversing the regular flow of wind for weeks at a time these might have taken might have taken the lapita lapita on long unplanned however they did lapita spread okay pacific they called it for quits reasons known only to them so reasons see see you can just see 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 you 
it remains expansion across the pacific it remains unclear so here here in this line they have written however they did it the lapita spread themselves a third of the way across the pacific then called it quits for reasons only to them reasons known only to them who lapita only not us so answer is yes yes sorry yes i was just about to write no answer is yes 40th it is likely it is likely that majority of the lapita settled on fiji okay now they are talking about likely a majority yes majority is uh, this we have to found settled on fiji okay so last three four lines are left for this paragraph ahead lay the vast emptiness of the central pacific and perhaps they were too shiny th thinly sorry stretched to venture further they probably never numbered more than a few thousand in total okay and in their rapid migration eastward they encountered hundreds of islands more than 300 in fiji alone they are talking what they encountered hundreds of islands more than so in first line they are talk, talking they probably never numbered more than a few thousand in total and migration eastward they encountered hundreds of islands more than 300 in fiji alone so alone fiji word it doesn't mean that your answer is uh, correct so here settled on fiji majority of F now islands are missing F fiji is a country or uh, of course it is the combination of island and all fiji but of course it is likely and majority so majority is not there so uh, of course majority if you thought they have numbered so everything they are not talking about the this thing so that is why this is also not given okay thank you so much thanks